Hi, I'm Pastor Darren and welcome to Word for the Week. I want to talk to you today about turning the other cheek. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 39, Jesus said this, But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. This was something Jesus himself would experience when they questioned him prior to his uh, crucifixion, but he did not strike back. Sometimes he just kept silent. Other times he just reminded them of God's word. Jesus does not want us to participate in this act of evil. And so he says, allow it to happen. In fact, actually by turning the other cheek, we're giving this individual more rope that to hurt themselves with, as it were, because they are going to have to answer to God for what they're doing. Vengeance, after all, is to be left to the Lord. And so our challenge this week is to think, how do we respond to those who strike out at us? Do we join them in the evil to strike back or do we turn the other cheek? Do we allow God's love and grace to permeate our lives in such a way that we're willing to endure that sort of behavior simply if nothing else to remind them of their own guilt and then allow God to deal with that individual. As hard as that might seem, let me offer you another uh, view of this, something a little more lighthearted, and this from the Redneck Preacher's Dictionary. And in the Redneck Preacher's Dictionary, we have a definition for left behind. And this is what it is. This is what you are to turn if someone strikes you on the other cheek. I'm Pastor Darren. That's your word for the week. God bless and have a wonderful day. <music>